a common question I get from my patients is, why, when should I worry about a spot? Or, you know, you're going to see me back a year from now, but how do I know if I need to come back sooner? What if, how do I know if there's something to worry about? And I think it's a great question because you know, it's not often something that hopefully you'll have to worry about is growing a skin cancer. Um, but what I often tell my patients is the most common way skin cancers show up, so we're not talking about melanoma, but the other more common types of skin cancer would be if you get a, something that you think is a pimple or even an ingrown hair or just a non-healing sore that is still sticking around after a month or two. It's been four or six weeks and it's just not getting better. It might even bleed occasionally. Those are the sorts of things that you shouldn't wait and sit on. You should come in sooner and have us evaluate. Other things that I often tell my patients to keep an eye out for, sort of the earliest step of a spot on its way to becoming a skin cancer are what we call pre-skin cancers, or the technical term are actinic keratoses. So pre-skin cancers often show up as if you touch your skin, you can feel it even better than you can see a spot there. And it will often feel really rough or gritty. I often tell my patients, if you feel a spot on your skin that feels like a little grid of sandpaper that's sort of always in the same spot, whether it be on your nose or your cheek or somewhere else uh, where you get a lot of sunshine, it's something that you should probably make a doctor's appointment to have a dermatologist evaluate. It doesn't have to be right away, but within the next couple months, you should probably have somebody take a look at that and make sure we can stop it in its tracks before it progresses and might even become a, a full skin cancer. It's important to catch these skin growths at their earliest stages. If it's a pre-skin cancer, we can often treat it either with a cold spray or a cream, or we have other ways that we can treat those. And that stops it from ever being a problem or a skin cancer in the first place. Or if it is, unfortunately, a skin cancer already, if we identify it at an early stage, we can often treat it with a surgery that's going to be much smaller than what you might be left with if you had waited for months or years down the line.